For the TCU women's soccer program, postseason success has become an expectation. Each season in the Eric Bell era has built on the previous year's success, and it was no different in 2018. 13 wins, a first ever NCAA tournament victory, and the most wins by a senior class in program history. Simply put, winning and TCU soccer have become synonymous. And he's standing on the edge, face up, shot the right right Jesus scores! The 2018 season kicked off with five home games at Garvey Rosenthal Soccer Stadium. The Frogs rattled off wins over Alabama, McNeese State, Stephen F. Austin, and Pitt, while pushing their record to 4 0 and 1 in the month of August. Gets it. Heiser, stop it. Shoot. She scores. TCU opened September with three road contests, where it went 2 and 1, with victories over Missouri and Arkansas and Little Rock. The Frogs closed out non-conference play at home with a dominating 6-1 defeat over number 18 Butler. Against the Bulldogs, Kayla Hill registered her first career hat trick. And TCU finished non-conference play with a 7-1-1 record. The Frogs' first big conference matchup came when the six-ranked Texas Longhorns rolled into Fort Worth at the end of September. Texas entered the match undefeated. And the game lived up to the hype. After a scoreless first half, Matty Warren found Yasmeen Ryan to give the Frogs a lead. Chipped in for Yasmeen Ryan. Yes, has it in the box. She shoots. She scores. Hits that horn. Yasmeen Ryan and the Frogs have the lead. The victory over Texas was TCU's first ever win over a top 10 opponent. In October, the Frogs began to hit their stride. Yasmeen Ryan was a hero in TCU's overtime win at Oklahoma, hitting a rocket off a set piece past a diving Sooner goalkeeper. The Frogs closed out regular season Big 12 play with three victories over Kansas State, Texas Tech, and Oklahoma State. The Tech game was the last home game for the nine-member senior class. The Frogs defeated the 24th-ranked Red Raiders behind goals from Messiah Bright and Mackenzie Oliver. TCU finished the regular season 12-4-2. Five conference wins. Entered the Big 12 tournament as the number four seed. In that Big 12 tournament quarterfinals, TCU battled Texas Tech to a scoreless draw through regulation and overtime. The game went to penalty kicks, where the Red Raiders eventually advanced 5-3. Emily Alvarado made five saves in the loss and recorded her sixth shutout of the season. The team gathered in the courtside club of Schollmeyer Arena on November 5th to learn their postseason fate. After a short wait, the Frogs saw their name appear on the screen. TCU plays host. TCU versus BYU was the matchup, and it was a home game for the Frogs. This marked the third straight year that TCU had been selected for the big dance, their second time hosting in the first round of the NCAA tournament. The BYU Cougars rolled into town on November 9th and the game was a thriller from start to finish. BYU got on the board first and took a one nothing lead into halftime. The second half was a different story. Messiah Bright scored the equalizer in the 56th minute and Yasmeen Ryan scored the eventual game winner shortly after. Yasmeen Ryan gets some space and scores! Emily Alvarado took over from that point on, making three saves in the final 30 minutes to seal the victory for the Frogs. The win, TCU's first ever NCAA tournament victory. A major historical milestone for this rising program. The Frogs drew eighth-ranked Texas A&M in the second round of the NCAA tournament. TCU battled hard from start to finish, but second-half goals pushed the Aggies past the Frogs to end the 2018 season. The team finished their season 13 wins, the second most in program history. 
The TCU soccer program took a major step forward in 2018 by winning that first NCAA tournament game in program history. The team loses nine seniors, but a great deal of young talent on the roster returns that has tasted now postseason success. The Frogs look to continue what has been built upon these last three years and continue to rise in 2019 and beyond.